Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your love reading for the week of June 4th through June 10th. I would call this the first full week of June. Keep in mind that this will resonate whenever it's meant to resonate, okay? The timing's on you. So we're going to get one of these, if I can shuffle them. We're going to get one of these Romance Angel cards. We're going to get one of the Whispers of Love. And if it flips out while I'm shuffling, then you'll see it now. Otherwise, we'll reveal it at the end and see if it resonates with the reading. This is for the sign of Taurus for the first full week of June. Generally, my readings are love readings, so that's what I call them, love readings. Dear God, angel spirits and universe, what does Taurus need to know for the first week of June? What is coming in? What is coming in for Taurus? Taurus. Taurus. None flipped over. We can't be so lucky. All right. This is for the sign of Taurus. First week of June. want to join me on Instago. I have that app for Apple iPhone users. My other readings are, you know, what I offer is noted below. This is for the sign of Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? I will speak up for the reading. Right now I'm just talking. What does Taurus need to know? Ooh, the lover's card. Beautiful. So you guys are in love, or there's a potential for a soulmate union here. This could even be a reunion. Um, there is, you know, a choice that you need to make in regards to love. And it looks like there's a lot of seduction, there's a lot of passion. And this could even lead to commitment. There could be a bitter ex in the way, so just keep that in mind. There could be another person that isn't happy, okay? You could, there could be a resentful ex that is not happy about this new love connection. Just keep that in mind. Could be you as well, I'm not sure. The Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody that is very vindictive, resentful, bitter and it's usually an X in reverse so you could be dealing with an X now this could be male or female energy but it could be the X of your lover okay it could be your X there is an X in the mix that's what I somebody might not be happy about this newfound love um, you know but the thing is is that it's the end of your difficulties, right? You're coming out of this darkness. You're coming out of this insecure period that you've been in. And maybe this person, this person that's bitter and angry isn't happy that you're no longer holding on to them. Something like that. Yeah, the holding on. Yes, they're still holding on to you. So that's interesting. So whether you are still obsessed or an ex is still obsessed, somebody is still obsessed with the love they once had. And you know, this lover's card could be a reconciliation. It could be. So be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice, Taurus. You may have to make a choice between two people. I'm just saying. You know, one of them could be an ex, one of them could be the new partner. You've come out of a difficult period in your life. Your ex sees how happy you are, and they haven't let go. That could be the case. Um, therefore, they don't want you to move forward. Somebody hasn't moved forward. Somebody is still holding on. That is the truth, whether it's you or the other person. So it feels like things are stalled.
interesting. Something is completely stalled. It's not practical. Somebody doesn't want things to move forward in love. Ah, the moon card. So there's, there's confusion, there's illusion, there's mystery, there's secrets. So I think there's an ex that has been keeping the truth from you and they probably mm, don't want you to move forward. Interesting. Um, yeah, they don't want the... <laughs> this is the Nine of Swords. You first, they don't want that door to close completely. They don't. But I think that you have. I think that you have released this difficult period in your life, Taurus. I think you've let it go. You have closed that door. And I feel like because you are happy at this point, somebody doesn't want somebody doesn't want you to have passion elsewhere. Mm -mm. Yikes, yikes. I think that there's some destiny here, okay? There could be destiny with an ex. I mean, I'm sorry to say this. I mean, I know a lot of you don't want to hear it, and I'm not particularly fond of this myself, but there is some destiny here. That This is destiny and fate, and it is upright. That could be stalling your forward movement with this lover, with this person, okay? We have Gemini here. We have Pisces here. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. There is a lack of growth in one area, though, and that is with this bitter person who is hard to love. Okay, there's a person in this mix that is hard to love that has brought a lot of confusion to your life, a lot of mystery, okay? It's like there's there's something you don't know here. Somebody's been keeping secrets about how they truly feel. And I feel like these secrets could come out. They could come out because it's destined to come out. These there's destiny here, okay? And I feel like there's a somebody has been through a very difficult um long drawn out depressive period in their lives where they have finally grown from it. They're no longer there. And that's, you know, that's when the wheel spins, when you've done your work. And the wheel is spinning. It's like, there's a destined change, okay? And it could happen this week, Taurus. And it does involve love. It could be a reunion. It could be a reconciliation. Or it could be a new love. When the lover's card comes out in a reading, there's usually a choice between two people. So I feel like there is a choice, and you will have to live with the consequences of your choice, okay? It's a difficult decision. There is a, a contract here that is... A destined to be and because this is a contract and this is destiny and it's like somebody hasn't been able to let go of it because it's destiny so I feel like there's a new beginning right in front of you there could be a, a restart okay because that's what this is maybe somebody wants to start over they want to give it another chance with you okay so there is an opportunity to it for a fresh new start in love Taurus this week so I feel like you help will have an opportunity for love and you're going to have to make a decision do you move forward or, or not okay do you that's what it is it feels as though something is not as it seems and this has to do with an ex okay it's not as it seems and the truth could certainly come out this week and I feel like somebody has released from a difficult period in their life they've 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 let go of it they're no longer holding on and you know that's when destiny comes into play that's when the wheel spins and i think that for a long period of time there was no growth there was no there was no passion and somebody was resisting change resisting letting go but they have let go and let, let go of the old ways let go of the old um obsessions you know they've let go of greed of holding on to the thing the money of holding on to the things that don't serve them they've they've let go of what is no longer needed they have somebody has released they have and they've they've just emerged from a really difficult period in their life and now they don't want you to 
have this new partner because the ace of wands reverse is a new partner but they don't want that they don't want this new partner these fell out ah queen of coins reverse that's you so you may be you may be going through a tough time taurus maybe you are feeling like you're you're stuck you don't know what to do you may be feeling um uneasy about this whole situation in the past it's it's ended in disaster and right now you're trying to avoid disaster i think somebody is trying to bring you down whether this is an ex or an ex-friend even somebody isn't happy about your newfound happiness that's what i see and i feel as though you're probably not going to feel very grounded in this decision you're probably confused yourself you don't know what to do you don't you really don't know what to do with this decision so be prepared be prepared to to make a practical decision here and i think that you're that's what the problem is is making a practical decision is, is pretty darn difficult right um i feel as though there's been some jealousy Okay, because this is very jealous. The Queen of Pentacles is jealous, and it's in reverse. There's been some jealousy that has impacted a relationship here, and it's caused upheaval. It has. And I feel like there's an opportunity for a fresh new start with a soulmate. There is. There's a soulmate faded contract here for you. And it could be with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Pisces, a Scorpio, Ooh, there's definitely a soulmate connection, okay? So you have a soulmate. You have a soulmate. There's no doubt. When you get the king and queen of any of the same, you know, gender, you know, the same suit, arcana, whatever, you get the same, you get the king and queen, and they're touching it. You are dealing with a soulmate. So, Taurus, you do have a soulmate here. And it could be an earth sign as well. You have a soulmate that is, you are destined, that you have a contract with. Okay, and it feels as though this week it could come out. It could come out onto the table. You could be let in on the secret feelings of this person, how they truly, truly feel for you. I feel like there's an opportunity for a brand new beginning to leave the baggage, the past behind, because that's what the fool does. The fool doesn't take very much with him on the new beginning. He doesn't. He doesn't. He he jumps on this new bandwagon with very, very little. Okay, so I feel as though you're probably going to feel like, oh my gosh, there's a lot of confusion here. There's a lot of um, instability. This person has brought instability to your life in the past. They haven't made you feel secure. Okay, because you're all about security, right? So I feel like somebody, you're dealing with somebody who isn't as secure as you would like them to be. Um, let me just get this down here. June 4th through the 10th, it feels as though you are going to have to make a decision between two people. Be Understand that there's more to this than meets the eye okay really be sure to make a practical decision don't hold any grudges okay because grudges get in the way and i can see that you may you may be holding some sort of grudge so try not to hold some any grudges is an opportunity for a fresh new start but the thing is is the fool card is about taking a risk and you may be so stubborn that you're afraid to take a risk okay i see a lot of stubbornness here taurus but you are right okay but the thing is, is if you hold the grudge and you be, be stubborn, you know, that's all, all that is going to do is hold you, hold you back, okay? Interesting. It feels as though you have a new opportunity in love, Taurus. So I would embrace it this week. Try not to hold any grudges. Try to be open-minded. Try to see the um, logistics of this, to look beyond the surface. Um, get grounded with the decision that you are about to make, okay? Because you're, I think you're going to have to make a decision between two people. 
Um, one of them, there's been some upheaval. There's been some upheaval in the past. There's been a breakdown, you know, within a relationship. And I feel as though you've released it. You've let it go. And this person sees that you've let it go. And they, they you know, they want to have a, new, a, a fresh new start with you. That, this is the outcome. A fresh new start. Starting over. Okay? And it is, it's, mirroring, it's mirroring you and this moon card. And, um, interesting. I feel like some truth is about to be revealed that is quite enlightening for you. So be prepared. Be prepared. Try not to, um, be stubborn and hold a grudge. Okay? So we're going to see what these are. Oh, children. Your love life is being affected by children. I don't know how that resonates. Maybe children was part of the breakup. Maybe somebody wants children. Somebody doesn't want children. Maybe the other person has children, and that's part of the decision that you need to make. Either way, children are a part of this decision. This lover's card is a decision in love. It's usually very unexpected. It comes out of the blue, and you will have to live with the consequences of your of your decision. This does lead to commitment. It's destiny. It is destiny with the Wheel of Fortune cards. Destiny for you to meet up with this person. And this person, um, you have a contract. I think it's a soul contract with them. And it feels as though there's an opportunity for a fresh new start with this person, whether it's somebody from your past or somebody new. The lover's card is, it can be either. It can be either. So, oh my goodness. Romance. Lavish the one you love with your personal attention and affection. It's a week of romance. I think that you're going to be getting plenty of attention. I do. Um, be prepared to make a decision and use your head. Get grounded. It's going to be a confusion, confusing decision that you have to make. Okay, But it looks like you're being called to have, have faith and take a risk. This is the outcome card. Have faith and take a risk. Don't be so hard-headed. Don't be so stubborn. Don't be so set in your ways. Sometimes you have to take a risk to be happy. So interesting. Anyway, I feel as though there's a new opportunity for love and romance this week, Taurus. And you have to make a decision. And not resist change. Somebody has been resisting. So open your heart. I mean, open your heart. I think the difficult period in your life is over. Romance is here for you if you're ready to let it in. Talk to you later.